really beautiful film. So could you start by telling us how you felt when you approached to play the role of Julia? Well, I actually first found out the film was being made and I was obviously just super desperate to be a part of it um, in any way, but to be Julia is one of my favourite roles anyway. So yeah, it was like incredible to have the whole thing come together. And how was it working with directors um, Michael and William? And we had so much trust in them because obviously they were dancers themselves. Um, so they know the story so well, they know how it works on stage and now they're venturing out into this amazing world of film so like everything came together so beautifully and it was just so nice to work with people with so much respect for. The film relies on a lot of action and expression through dance which, and what do you think makes Kenneth Macmillan's choreography so unique? Kenneth Macmillan was... He made ballets that were very real, so unlike The Sleeping Beauty, where it's a lot of mime and kind of ridiculous storylines, you know, that are kind of ridiculous. And he really made, like, real stories, and he wanted us as dancers to portray them as very real humans so that the audience could really connect with them. And I think that's the power of his choreography. Yeah, because it sort of feels like he leads the story along... Um, very dramatically just by movement from the start to the end so have you played Juliet before? I have I played Juliet once before on stage before the film and then I went back and I did it on stage again after the film and it was very very rewarding coming back to it afterwards like I feel like the film like helped me have so many like deeper thoughts about the role and yeah it really like for the whole company as well like I think we all kind of felt like we could take it to another level on stage after. And what were some of the highlights of being on set? Highlights of being on set, I mean, we all worked very hard. Um, I kind of took a back seat for the first few days, weather-wise, so all my scenes were kind of um, Wednesday, like, to Friday. It was very full-on. Um, I remember one of the scenes, the balcony pas de deux, the romantic pas de deux, we actually filmed on my 26th birthday. <laughs> um, and I think people watching the film might think there's a wind machine involved. That was the wind. It was all, like, everything was perfect. <laughs> oh my, what a way to spend your birthday, yeah, though. Exactly. So you're transitioning sort of a little bit from stage to um, sort of more film work I guess I know it's your first feature and you have Cats coming out as well in December um, does it feel a natural progression for you and would you like to do more of this? Definitely I feel like it's something I wasn't necessarily like intending to do and it's all just happened and I feel so grateful and yeah I'm not going to say no I'm very open to more adventures <laughs> and what do you hope that audiences will take away from this film after watching it? I hope it changes their perception of ballet, maybe. Um, and for those people who love the, you know, the ballet of Romeo and Juliet as it is, I hope it brings, you know, more emotion to it. I mean, being this close and this involved in the story, I hope it really makes it even more real than it could already be. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us and enjoy your evening.